Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. And let's just shuffle. My hair's wet. I think it touched my drink. I'm like, why is my hair wet? I think it rubbed against my drink. It distracted me. Anyways, here we go. This is for all signs. I have started to do the September readings for Zodiacs. I've done so far Aquarius and Scorpio, as those are always my two signs that I... There we go. Here we go. <sighs> the rings, which symbolize partnership. Which symbolize commitment, AKA marriage or union. It's a promise, it's a bond. I mean, for that to be the very first card kind of sets the tone and the pace here. That's what this reading is gonna be about. There's some sort of commitment afoot. And we know that union's been coming up nonstop in the cards. Wow, death twice. Literally, it's death twice. You see that? The coffin says death, and this is the death card. Scorpio energy, of course, right, with the death card. Sorry. There, death. Scorpio energy, but it is a rebirth. Death is just the beginning, as the mummy said, right? Um, Someone awakens. And if you watch my live earlier on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, it was literally all about that. Like, someone wakes up, and I've channeled this for years since the apartment on the beach, wake up suddenly, you're in love. Someone wakes up. It's an awakening, right? The mummy awakens. It's like they had to go through their metamorphosis, their transformation. And when they come out of that tunnel, they're fucking in love. The rabbits again. I had the rabbits earlier on live. Rabbits symbolize new beginnings because, again, death is just the beginning. Like I just said earlier. The rabbits not only symbolize new beginnings, but it symbolizes desire and sex and procreation. Sudden increase. Someone here has a sudden increase of desire overnight. Like they wake up in love or they wake up extremely attracted to somebody. Just like I've channeled for years. Oh, they want me to show you that butterfly which symbolizes metamorphosis, right? Change, transformation, exactly what this rebirth um, energy is about. Someone goes through a metamorphosis. They go, they, they go through an awakening. It's evolution of soul, as the card says. You have the clover, which is good luck. It's a happy coincidence. It's a reward. It's good fortune. It also, it, and it also says unexpected rendezvous. Does. It says unexpected rendezvous, the devil. Mm -hmm. See, they wake up like this. They wake up now super, it's like in the movie, The Mummy. Soon as he wakes up, he don't give a fuck about nothing else. Where's my wife? Where is she? See the bear? Bear's also boss, CEO. It's an energy of someone who's very strong, very protective. Where's my wife? It starts to become obsessive, right? With the devil energy. It's all they can think about. When they wake up, it's all they can think about. It says eyes on the prize too, because I think once they, if you're watching my live on Instagram, where's the cards? The cards we had were fucking unreal. Look, eye on the prize. See the burning passion between them with the fire. This is the gorgeous illuminated tarot. Like I told you guys, I'm slowly unpacking and I'm finding just boxes and things everywhere and I came across this deck a few days ago and it's just been calling to me the illuminated tarot and what's super crazy is if you're watching the live 
you know that we got the four of wands right again union new beginnings but this card here is about swift movement and we also have this ten of spades which when i looked it up in the book i'll show it to you what the ten, i was singing wake up suddenly you're in love right billy ocean and look at what the card ten of spades symbolizes see how it's judgment it says waking up wake up suddenly you're in love someone wakes up suddenly and they're fucking in love <laughs> i mean it sounds ridiculous but i've heard of way more ridiculous things okay i have i'm telling you right now i have heard of way more crazier shit the dolphins is friendship and somebody here who you can like really open up to it's it's about effective communication and it's playfulness and humor and fun and there's a lot of joy between these two people when they communicate there's this peace it's like an uncommon bond between these two people they're very old friends right because it's very past lifey they're very very old friends very very old friends Ooh, you got the Wolverine, bottom of the deck. Fierce, unpredictable, wild. Power struggles, assertive, possessive, determined, and elusive. Mm-hmm. Because I wake up like that, where's my wife? Suddenly, unexpectedly, out of the blue. Here's the geese. Geese talk about, like, relocation. But the geese talk about coming home, right? Because the geese leave, they always come back. And then, I mean, that's really symbolic of like a past life connection. Yeah, I'll find you in every lifetime. And here you have balance, which talks about feeling complete. This is about, I mean, you can see the cards in, in the card. You see they're meeting there. See how it's two different sets of rocks and they meet perfectly. There's like perfect alignment. You both complete each other in this way where it's a perfect fit. But, th but that's the thing about the vibrations, right? Once they awaken, it's perfect alignment. They become aligned with self. There it is, the tree, spiritual awakening, spiritual growth. The card itself says personal growth, evolving, right? It talks about past lives. You see the words right there. Everything I just fucking said. We've talked about them awakening for years and there's been false starts in the past. They started to awaken, go back to sleep. Some choose free will and will choose to never awaken. That's just what it is. But some of them are going to. Ball and chain, it's addictions. Somebody here may have been unhappily married in the past. Could be about codependency and someone feeling trapped. Someone here fears commitment because in the past, they were very unhappy in a committed relationship and they felt trapped because it was toxic. You know, so there is a person here, you or them or both of you, who in a sense kind of shy away from commitment because it didn't go so great in the past. The book, Mystery Hidden, Memories, Secrets, The Unknown. The book is opening though, right? Everything that was secret, everything that was unknown, everything that was hidden becomes suddenly known to them. And I told you bitches that I felt like this blue full moon was going to activate some shit, man. I'm telling you. It's going to awaken them in this crazy way because the moon has that capability. And if you've watched me for years, you've heard me talk about this several times for years. That I had felt like there's this thing about being impossible. And the moon says, impossible? For who? I'm the moon. I can do anything. I can pull the tide. I'm powerful. Moon is feminine energy, right? And it's like, uh, who the fuck said that? I'll make it happen. And that's what I feel like this moon is doing. Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ. Lord and Savior. God Almighty. Infant baby Jesus. The lovers and the fucking fireworks. Bitch, I'm telling you. This moon that we just had, the blue full moon, did something to activate union. And it was very specific to the masculines. It activated something in the masculines. And it, it, it activated an awakening. It activated memories. 
of past life, but they don't like specifically know. They're not gonna say, yeah, I remember in 1792, in 1717, what the fuck was that? Mm, wave of inspiration because the moon activates something. Now they feel inspired to do something. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder what. First date. I wonder what. Someone here might feel super inspired to now take action to initiate something romantic. Sunsets are proof that endings are beautiful too. Yes, because I think that there's a big ending theme because the end is the beginning, the beginning is the end, but something ended. The two of you, the prospect of this may have ended, right? This could be symbolic of the ending of their old vibration, the ending of your old cycle. Endings assure one thing, not just, oh, it ended. That's the glass half empty mentality. Endings assure new beginnings are, are coming and are, are afoot. Because there's it's one in the same. If an ending happens, a closed door, it means what? It means a new beginning. See, something is revealed. And you know who this is revealed to? We have two cards sitting here, okay? There, you see it? This one's flipped face down, ass up. But look, you have a leap of faith that, that popped up. Leap of faith and something is revealed. That's the fucking masculines. They are going to take a leap of faith and something is revealed to them. They become inspired. They take a leap of faith. I am telling you right fucking not, release. Release. Wasn't that our mantra during this blue full moon? We release anything that is not of the right vibration for us. Anything that no longer serves us. Endings. It's endings. We were saying if this has ended and if this has expired, we're going to release it and let it go. And in turn, we created space for new beginnings. It was like our mantra during this fucking blue full moon. I release, I let go, I surrender. The masculines are going to reveal something because something has been revealed to them. Blooming season. It's their blooming season. They're the bell of the ball. I mean, I'm not bullshitting. It's them awakening. It's it's their blooming season. It's just what it is. It's their fucking blooming season. Luscious. Mm. I bet they think you are. I bet they think something about you is luscious. Whether those lips or maybe your hair. Yeah, sexual encounter. Exactly. Romance. Mm-hmm. Oh, they think you're the fucking cat's meow, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yep. They find something about you luscious. Yes, they do. What is this? Perfect match. Because like the balance card earlier, how I said you guys are now in alignment, that's this. Now you're in alignment. Now it becomes the perfect match. Cannot be the perfect match if you're not in alignment. Obsession, bottom of the deck. Because that's exactly what they become. They become obsessed where's my wife it's just like the mummy when he awakens he don't give a fuck about anything goddamn else he's looking for her and i forget what her name is in the freaking movie infatuation yes they become obsessed and infatuated with making this happen because they're now awakened to it everything is about vibration and frequency it's not personal it's vibrational now some of you keep thinking about and not letting go of a fuck face from the past who's gonna choose free will and is choosing not to awaken. Please don't taint that shit with this shit because this is someone awakening, okay? Don't taint it. Not all of them choose to because we have free will. Some of them will choose not to awaken. This motherfucker is awakening. He awakens. So if you feel like your person could never do it, then don't even bring it up in the comments or bring it up here because we're not talking about that. I'm not talking about an asshole who ain't gonna awaken ever, who is still cheating on everybody, who is still treating you like trash, who still doesn't love himself, who won't go through healing. Nobody talking about that. Don't taint it. That could be another reader reading that energy for you somewhere else, but that's not this. 
this person allows this awakening to happen now whether he allows it because the universe is doing this or the moon did that and smacked him upside his fucking head in his sleep i don't know but the sure simple fact is he wakes up and awakens to this connection and then he starts putting his foot on the gas and starts coming full throttle ahead period that's what he does Oh my fucking god, bitch, twin flame. Cause it's a it's a perfect match. Mirror soul. <sighs> it literally says on the card spiritual alignment. Spiritual alignment effortless. It does say karmic, but it's not a karmic partner. It's not. It's spiritual alignment. It's a mirror soul, perfect match. Now that they mirror your energy, your vibration. They go through their awakening. If you're low vibrational and they're high vibrational, it's not a match. Vice versa. And some of you, based on your fucking comments, is low vibrational. Okay? Period. I read them. I see them. We all peep them. We all read them. We all see them. It's negative, Nancy. It's glasses half empty. It's victim-like and not self-aware. And this is not because we want to be judged during execution or what I feel about your comments or my opinion of it don't matter for nothing. But this is me telling you that you'll never get this fucking with stupid asses or holding on to stupid asses or you not raising your vibration to attract better. Who has a chance attracting better in the sense of they have this chance to awaken because you're choosing higher quality. They're just not there yet. And there you have communication because I keep telling you bitches, communication is fucking coming. It says texting, phone calls are online, okay? Communication is fucking coming. Now let's get into this extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on the first one. It's going to take you to my website. Go to extended readings and special love slash oracle readings, okay? Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can catch the live reading I did earlier. And I will randomly pop up on Instagram when I can. Sometimes it can be daily, but sometimes not. Especially now that I've moved. I'm so busy trying to unpack and work at the same time that I don't have as much time to do so. But check me out there. XI underscore Missy underscore XI, okay? I will see you guys in the extended. Love you.